Oh God, see how it just like instantly makes your stuff look. Oh God. So I thought I should do a video. Is the earring on? On just some of my favorite things that I'm loving at the moment. I've done a video like this before, but that was like, oh, I think that was like last year. It was a few months ago and I thought I should revisit it because there are some key things that I'm really enjoying. It's accessories, a lot of accessories and some makeup as well and a little bit of skincare. Okay, so what should I go with first? Um, actually, you know what, let me just get this makeup out of the way because I mentioned these two NARS highlighters in the video that I did on my makeup routine, right? I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it. And I used these two highlighters. Let me tell you, this was, thank you NARS, because they actually gave me these. These look so nice on. I used them together. This one is a little bit darker and this one is a little bit brighter. So these are gorgeous. You can see it a little bit, hopefully, Look at the cheekbone. You see that sheen right there, here. It almost gives like a pearl like finish on the skin. It, it is, this is probably the best highlighters that I've come across. The darker one is called Scent Baths and the lighter one, the golder one, because this is more like coppery bronze and this one is more like gold, like a, a warm gold. This one is called Ibiza. I can't even explain. It's just, it's so light. You see no grains, no particles, nothing. All you just get is the sheen that like I showed you earlier. It's, they're gorgeous. And they're so, so feather light. Like when you like swipe your brush on, definitely the best highlighters that I've come across right now. And I've been using these all the time and I absolutely love them. And it lasts all day. You can easily build it up. I like to layer one on top of the other for that like really nice sheen on the cheekbones. Very high there and it's just very natural, gorgeous. Now I don't talk about makeup that much on my channel but there's so many things that I like from makeup at the moment and skincare. I thought, well, why not share with you a lot as well? Because yeah, I can talk about clothes and I will obviously and I always will. But there's things I like from my makeup as well and I put makeup on almost every day-ish. So I might as well let you know what those things are too. Sticking with makeup, um, there is this eyeliner. Oh, I put it on my Instagram stories. Is it still there? If it is, I will put a little caption of it right here so you can see. But this Daria, I got Daria, my girlfriend, to thank for this. She told me about this eyeliner. It looks so good on her. She texted me a picture of her wearing it. And I was instantly like, she said to me, Karen, this is really good, this liner. It's it's budge proof, it doesn't come off. She goes, Karen, you can sleep in this crap. And Diary and I are very like into like eyeliners. I don't know, we always have been. So when she texted me this, I instantly bought this exact same color that she was wearing. Um, she's white. <laughs> Her skin tone is much lighter than I am, but it looks really good on both of us, I think. So yeah, it's by Marc Jacob. And I'll put on the screen the exact one that is, and I'll link it below as well. But the color I got is called, I think it's out of the blue or out of the water, I don't know. It is an absolutely stunning, please, ex please excuse my nails by the way. It's an absolutely stunning electric blue. You can't even see right there. So pretty on. This is good for if you're not like into like a lot of makeup and just want some, you want something on your eye. This is absolutely gorgeous. I, I'm so happy that um, she told me about this. And it's so budge proof that I've picked it up in black as well. Cause I always think you never, not have a good black eyeliner. So I've got the blue and I got the black. Again, budge proof, doesn't go anywhere. The essay at Sephora told me that for the black one, she puts it in her waterline and it doesn't come out. So there you go. So much. And then for my brows, boy brow, still loving the boy brow. I use it in conjunction with this old bourgeois, a bourgeois pencil in dark brown. And then I take in dark brown, the Glossier boy brow. So yeah, that's been my combo at the moment. So moving on to shoes. 
Now I know because it's still kind of like that in between, we're getting flashes in New York, but the footwear, I'm slowly starting to ease into wearing these espadrilles again. These are my Castanet espadrilles. I had these since last year, love them. I've been wearing them a lot last year. I'm wearing them, I've started to wear them again this year. I'm wearing them with jeans. So that's like my transitional way of having to sort of ease baby steps into warmer weather. I've been loving these. I love this particular height of them as well. Um, I'm a person who tends to like wear like lower heels or flat type of shoes, very casual. Um, and these are actually quite a high wedge, but it's so comfortable. I've tried other brands of Espadrilles on, but these Castaners, I still come back to this brand. They fit me the nicest and I love, there's something about the way they've cut this overall shape of this shoe, the arch. It just elongates your leg and I love them so much that I also have them now in a baby pink color. But for now, I'm teaming them with my denim and that is more than fine for me. Um, if you don't like this particular height, you can obviously get them in a much lower height. But like I said, I think that this is such a sexy height. Don't know, it's, it's just, I can't explain. But you put these on and they just, it just gives such a pretty look to your foot. And I've got massive size 10 feet. These are a 41. So, you know, I don't have like tiny dainty feet, but they really make you feel that way when you wear them, at least for me. Highly, highly recommend these. And yeah, I've been really getting into these more and more now. It's getting slightly, slightly warmer here and there. And then another pair of shoes I've been wearing are these by Sam Edelman. They are mules, kitten heeled mules. They are in a baby blue, baby blue yeah tie design here friend crystal she also has them in red they come in about literally eight colors i think there's come in so many colors um, i like the baby blue i just like how it looks with my skin tone i find also it just goes with everything like i'm wearing these like light denim jeans and i even like the color right see all this combination here i'm looking at everything the earrings the white tee the washed out denim and then the baby pink i just love that together to me that just really reads a spring i was tempted to get these in a really strong color like the cobalt blue and i still look at them i even picked them up the other day I went mm. i put them back down and went karen no um but i like how this looks and it goes with everything you know i had to think about the cost per wear factor extremely comfortable as well I would like to find a pair of darker colored mules, um, not something with a bow, completely different, but I haven't seen ones that I like enough. In fact, I have, but the price point of those is not anything like Sam Edelman, let's put it that way. So we'll have to just see what ends up happening. So, mm. so these are the ones that I've been wearing until I find that uh, black mule that I really want that's got like a little kitten heel to it I know what I want I want it to be closed toe I've been wearing these but these aren't I mean I can't do you know what I think it's about twenty dollars I found from some ridiculous random name random name site it originally had like this horrible motif like stuck on both of them and it looked so nasty and cheap so I just literally sat there whilst I was watching, um, I don't know, a series, probably like Homeland, and just like unpicked it slowly on each of them because I wanted them to be plain and black. And if you notice, they're actually slingbacks. I've been wearing them the way I actually really wanted to, which is as a mule. So I'll literally just put my foot in here and I'll cover the strap. This is literally a make do, isn't it? I really want a proper pair of mules, something like this, that I can just wear all the time. I'm not like DIYing it and kind of like fudging it. We're ticking the box, but I'm looking for something else as we speak. Now bag wise, oh my gosh, the two beaded bags that have been the love of my life. This bag right here has been, I've just, oh, I've been loving wearing this bag. This is the one I found from the Manhattan Vintage show um, about what, three, about a month ago-ish maybe, something like that. Completely beaded bag. It's very small, it's like an evening bag really. Um, I wore it recently going out for a dinner um, last night, at least when this video goes up. And I'll insert a picture of me carrying it here. And I loved wearing this bag and it got so many compliments. And it's just a great little dinky bag. I'm, oh, I'm obsessed with it. Some of you use the hashtag I told you about, Karen Britchick Inspo, that's the one you use. If you want me to see anything that you've got that was inspired by my channel, whether it's something you've bought that I've shown you or a style idea that you've got, use that hashtag on the screen here and I'll be able to see you and we can all see each other as well. Somebody used it recently and I checked and she also has or found a bag like this in a different color. So 
They obviously exist. They must be somewhere. They must live somewhere, maybe on Etsy or something. If um, there's a particular label for it, like a name for it. Oh, there is. Yeah, so yeah, been loving this little thing. I'm and the other bag that I've been loving is obviously the Shrimps Antonia. I believe it's called the Antonia Pearl Bag. Oh, Well, as if you can't get it. It's one of those things that as soon as you see it, you instantly add to the cart and check out. At least, at least I did. Um, every time I wear this, it gets compliments from strangers, friends, males, as well as females have complimented me on this bag. It is just everything, right? It's, it's just, oh God, it's blowing out again. But that, I know I've done this before, but it's just worth showing you again pearls everywhere it's just ridiculous the amount of um, compliments that i've got on this bag um i will link below for wherever else i've seen it um, i know that it came in a yellow and it came in a blue i believe or a mint green but keep checking back because that's how i got this one it was sold out then it restocked with jeans it works with dresses oh everything just over a coat i even love that like the contrast of wearing like a masculine coat hold on i'm going to show you what i'm talking about look what i'm talking about see you see what i mean just this is typical for me how i'd love to sort of wear like this is a classic transitional outfit right faded jeans t-shirt just like an ordinary like single breasted coat wool coat and then i've got this on because it's still a bit nippy out and then you put this bag on it's just, oh god see how it just like instantly makes your stuff look oh god if i could design a bag i would design this bag i think anyway yeah so Point made, love it to pieces. Mm. Pair of earrings, apart from these ones, which I really like, these Zara ones, because um, I've really been into like looking at earrings, especially now that my hair is like so short. And I love these ones by Zara. They came as two pairs. So they came with these white flowers, plus they came with the blue like hoops. So I would either wear them like mismatched, so I'll wear like the blue and this, or I will just wear them just like this, or I'll just wear the blue hoops, which are so small, but they're very fat, and it's such a bright sort of color that they really like stand out without being like massive earrings. Um, I, this is how I'd mostly like to like wear them as well. I'll contrast them with wearing like a t-shirt like this, and just put on a pair of like cool earrings. Um, these were kindly gifted to me by Mazoma London. Um, they are part of the Lucy Williams and Mazoma collection. And, oh God, I have worn these earrings all day right and they have been absolutely fine to wear right and i'm very very conscious of the weight on my earlobes and these have been so so comfortable i've shown you these before but i had to include them in the things i'm loving right now because i do they're so simple they've just been working so well and i recently did a post um wearing them with my instagram post wearing them with the mr larkin trench coat oh that trench coat is everything i I've struggled to not put that in the video. Let's just assume that trench is included in this. I just can't be bothered to get up and go and get it for you, but that trench coat is just, it's just everything. Love that contrast of wearing something like these earrings, which are quite sort of feminine, and then again, contrasting it with like a trench coat or with the single breasted coat that I had on. But at the same time, I still also like the play of later on when it gets really warm, just wearing it with like bare shoulders and you just got like the gold hoops around here for some warts on the skin and you just got the highlighter from, oh, oh, spring cannot come soon enough. And for those of you who are asking, because I also am getting questions about these flipping reading glasses. I mean, they're only reading glasses, but I do love them. And I've only been wearing them for the past three months, maybe? Four, no, not even four. I feel like three months-ish. But you lot, every time I wear them, I always get questions like, where did I get these glasses from? These are from, get your pens and paper out. Warby, oh my gosh, I need cleaning. They are from Warby Parker and um, they are actually sunglasses. That's what the frame is. I had the um, assistant at Warby Parker, this is in Soho. I had him like pop out the lenses, hand me the glasses, like, I mean, it was completely see-through. But I just wanted to see what did the frame look like on me. And I ab and I absolutely love them. This is so, so cool. Anyway, God, to tooting my, I love tooting my own horn on my own channel. I do, I love wearing these flipping glasses and they're reading glasses, but 
I'm doing this because I know a lot of you have asked me about them, so this is what they look like again. Um, and I'll leave the information, the link below for the particular style of these as well, because I always forget. It's like Audrey or Aubrey or something. Anyway, it's below for you. So if you want them, perfect. Just give them your prescription and they'll do them for you. None of this is sponsored. I'm just showing you the crap that I love right now. Um, is that it? I feel like there's something else. Hold on, I'm gonna stop this video because I feel like there might be something else. See, I knew it, I knew it. I didn't have to put this in because you lot probably like gonna be bored because I'm gonna talk about skincare now. This is where you're all gonna click off, I know it, because I know for me, when I look at other people's YouTube videos, I do skincare, make, I usually like speed past and get to the fashion. If you're gonna click off, bye, I'll see you on Tuesday. Um, but, Sunday Riley, I did a collaboration with them and they didn't, this is, like I said, this is not sponsored at all but um, they gifted me some of their products. And I've only been using this for since last week, but my skin usually reacts instantly to when I start something new. Because like I said to you in the beginning, I've been using the same products for years. This is the first time that I'm trying something else. I know these are expensive, but I was willing to try them because I read the reviews, good genes. This is flipping ridiculous, lactic acid treatment. Now I cover, I wear foundation, I wear makeup, I'm wearing makeup right now. So you can't see my hyperpigmentation. No, you can't. But I do have like these two marks. It's really weird because they're like literally the same level like under each eye, like right there and right there. It's like I just painted them on, but it's two dark marks, scar marks from acne. And I also have a couple on my chin as well. Again, I know you're thinking, yeah, really Karen, can't see crap. Anyway, I do have it. Um, this has already started to help fade it. It's either this one or this one. Now, the good jeans I've been using um, in the mornings, but I have also started just of like literally two days ago to start to use it as night at night as well. After I wash my face, I put this on morning and now at night. And then there's this one, which is called, let me get my reading glasses, because the writing is so small. Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. Now, I went for a facial by Sunday Riley, and what the um, lady did was she took um, a mixture of the um, cleanser, cleanser. So I, they, she took a bit of that, and she took most of this. So a third of that and two thirds of this, right? So that was the ratio. And she used that as a mask on my face. And I felt the tingling, she said I would. And to me, and she was saying how it's working on certain areas, because it helps to fade any discolorations, hyperpigmentation, and just help just fade all those scars from your face. And I told her by the end of the day, when I got home, I honestly, I mean, it could be psychological, but I really felt like those two marks I was telling you about, they were lighter. So I don't know, like I said, it could all be in my head. But um, I use this mainly as, um, Either the way she said it, just use it as a brightening mask, or you can just use it as a one-off treatment, like once a week, because it's really, really concentrated. Now, I'm no laboratorist, I'm no dermatologist, so I can't tell you like what it exactly is doing, but I know it's some good shit, and I, sorry. All I know is it's, it's good, it's just, it works. So, and that's in a short amount of time that I've been trying it. So I'm very, very pleased to just continue using it with the good jeans. I do have the lunar oil as well. Um, I don't feel like I'm noticing any difference with that, but I'm gonna continue with it. But in terms of like things that I feel like are actually making a difference in terms of like fading scars that I've got on my face, absolutely, I feel like these two have been doing it. So the hype is real. Read the reviews and the links below. You'll see what people think, but yeah. Anyway, like I said, it's early days, so I don't want to trick myself into thinking that it's in my head and that I'm just like thinking, oh yes, the reviews are right. I do look amazing right now. And it's on like the next day. So I'll keep you posted on it. But so far, so far I'm liking it. Anyway, so I'm gone. Just some things that I've been using and really liking at the moment. It's really just accessories, not too much on clothes. I mean, in terms of clothes, I've honestly, I've just been kind of like, a creature of habit and I don't think that's anything wrong with that the weather is not amazing yet in New York we had a couple of flashes of like warm weather and then it went back to just being kind of miserable and kind of dark so I've just been wearing honestly probably just like these Levi's these are vintage Levi's they're faded high-waisted so um, i am put my chair away so yeah I've just been kind of like wearing those if anything just to I hate that dark area the way on it this right there what is that? I hate how, oh, it's so annoying on the stand here. 
Anyway, so I've just been loving wearing these jeans. They're just a normal pair of Levi's, but I like them. High-waisted, um, very kind of spring color to them as well because they're like the light denim, so I'm very happy with these. Um, they look really good like with like those espadrilles. Like you put these on and the espadrilles and you get those long legs for days look I was telling you about. Trust me, you do. Anyway, I'm done. A very quick video on some of the things I'm loving right now. Skincare, bit of makeup, and some accessories that are just being making me feel like, oh, I'm so glad I have these, because they just like, I know, they're little things, but they all sort of add up to making your outfits feel and look better. That's it, that is my lot. I hope you guys have a good weekend, and um, follow me on Instagram, and don't forget, use that hashtag if you want to tag me on anything that you've been inspired by on my channel that you've been wearing on your Instagram account. Here is the hashtag here, Karen Bridget Inspo. And that is it, I'm going to go. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on Tuesday. Notice I'm not saying see you next Tuesday, I'm saying I'll see you on Tuesday. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Yes, I found a way to get around it. Yes, I have. Oh, and also the hand cream. Thank you for the recommendations from Tuesday's video. I've literally got them all noted down. And I'm, I'm just gonna go through. Every time I pop into a store, I'm just gonna just check my list and just buy or just try whilst I'm in the store. And I'll give you some feedback on which hand creams I decided to go with. Because I'm sure, based on your recommendations, I'm going to probably buy more than one. But thank you, I love you guys. You are, I didn't mean to say that, I did. But I do, I love that you guys have been so helpful. So. I don't know, it's just really nice, it really is. Anyway, I'm gone.